Oh, he's not wanting to be up here. Just a simple running ledger with a, a wire trace on the end. I think it's a 7 0 hook in the end. Uh, the reason for the wire, but the, the reason for the heavier duty stuff basically is that most of the fish you get here are rays, uh, but there are some skate in there and possibility of spur dog as well. So, and actually, Taking this lot out to defrost a bit earlier. God on me. So this ground's about 250 feet deep under us, but it's a, a slope. So you can fish anything between 200 and 300 feet, depending on the, just how the wind and the tide carries you. Not quite what we want. But start, I guess. Decent enough little ray, quite fat actually. So we'll do him a wee favour and remove these guys. But, uh, anyway, go back. Well, I haven't even got this bait back down again before the other rod's going. Just about hit the bottom. Spirited than most of them. That's not a ray. Oh, dear me. Thank <laughs> you. 
feels like a small skate this one. It's not big anyway. So, uh, not going to bother we weighing that one. Well, not going to bother measuring it. I might weigh them, but uh, not a big fish. But the sort of size it gives you good fun without killing your back. Trying to get that coffee poured for about half an hour now. Well, I'm fishing up near a, a fish farm here, which is why you're getting the rays basically. Uh, but uh, it's quieting down a little bit after that first fairly hectic hour. Um, managed to make myself a bacon roll and uh, get my coffee as well. shortage of them today.
think that's the smallest of the day so far. as well. Bigger skate this one. Oh boy, this could take a while, I think. It's still on the bottom and it's actually heading down slope a bit. question of applying a bit of pressure on it really. Patience. off the bottom now. Once you get moving it's not so bad. He's not that big. Once he's not glued to the seabed it's a bit easier to move him. This costs a fairly light rod. But They always feel bigger when they're glued to the bottom. He's not that big. Oop. Well, he's not wanting to stay here any longer. Come way down again. Right, hey, just about there. I'll probably just let him go at the side of the boat, I think. Hey, 
right. There we go. Not that big, but uh, enough to be of interest. Uh, probably only about the 50 pound mark. Maybe, yeah, about that. So, get the hook out and uh, get my way again. It's just a kind of modest sized mackerel bait. Thorn banks will swallow it easily enough and uh, skate certainly seem to go for it too. So, yeah. Another thorn back. Picked up that rod again, and something a wee bit better on. It's not very big, but it feels like another skate. Settle in for a wee while here. If they would take the skate rod, might get this done a bit faster. Not wanting to play. Right, I'm gonna see if I can get the other bait reeled in a wee bit. Just to avoid getting another fish on. I 
she'd do it. Right. Nope, I'll come back to you once I've got them off the bottom. Alright, go on moving. It's not that big, but again, it's the lightish rod and the clapped out human that's hauling them. Right. Once you get them off the bottom, they generally come up without too much bother. They'll dive, of course, but uh, once you've got them broken free of the mud, it's generally fairly straightforward. Unless there's a strong tide, of course. Oh, he's not wanting to be up here. Too far below the surface now, but he's getting a bit, a wee bit unhappy. Right, he's just down below. Looks like his tail hooked. Probably explains why he's fighting a bit more. Right. So, not a big fish, but it's going to be a, possibly a problem getting rid of him. more able to fight back. Right. So let's gonna try and release him at the side here. Right, there we go. So, not a big fish that one, maybe about 40, 50 pounds, but just coming up the wrong way really. Anyway, it's number four for the day, nothing very big, but enough to keep me amused. I'll go with that I think. Okie dokie! So... It's a crushed barb, so... Comes out fish pretty easily. Uh, I don't know, I think that's a, probably an A2 hook, something like that. You find the hook size is a little bit random, but... Thornback. 
the other rod away as well. So. the dust. Anyway, um, done fairly well today so far. Four skate. Um, obviously a couple of real tiddlers in there and a couple of ones in the sort of 40, 50, 60 pound range, something like that. And then uh, quite a nice quite a few nice thorn bags. The biggest of them was into low double figures, so quite happy with that. Well we just swung completely around at anchor now. Uh, we're kind of pinned a little bit with a, a fairly light wind and a fairly light tide opposing it. So we're just rolling around a little bit just now. I give it another half hour or so. I kind of need to finish earlier on that plan tonight because uh, the road home is closed yet again. Uh, rather bad habit in these parts of just closing roads for about 11 12 hours at a stretch. Anyway, just gonna make myself a another cup of soup or something like that and then start tidying up the boat and see if we get any more bites before I need to haul anchor. <laughs> <laughs> 